chases. We're just watching The Wizard of Oz in glorious Technicolor. Now, meet the Munchkins. Nearly 60 years after the making of The Wizard of Oz, Steve Hartman strolls down the yellow brick road with three of the original actors in Munchkin Memories. It's hard to spot her, but if you look very closely, you'll notice a Munchkin in a green flower pot hat a 15-year-old girl from Alabama named Margaret Pellegrini. Now, flash forward 60 years, and I think you'll agree that today, Margaret has no problem standing out from the crowd anymore. They always say, oh, we remember you, we can tell, because of my hat. Margaret is now a housewife living in Phoenix, but her claim to fame will always be that extra work she did back in 39. And I say to myself, I, I don't understand it. I'm only a munchkin. <laughs> it amounted to only 10 minutes of screen time. But with that, the munchkins achieved a level of fame that no other bit part actors ever have or probably ever will. There were 124 of them. Today, 13 remain. And with great effort, we were able to locate three of them still living here in the western United States. Munchkins. Jerry Marin, a cigar smoking member of the Lollipop Guild. We represent That's Jerry in the middle. The Lollipop Guild. Margaret, who you met, and Harry Monty, who at 92 is the oldest surviving munchkin and the last of the winged monkeys. He's also a little hard of hearing, just so you know. We did the interview at but his place. They, they put them up until they get the regular curtains, so when that comes in, they'll take all this off. Oh, yeah, he, want, he wants to ask you a huh? question. Answer his question. What do you want to what, ask? What, 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 was, what did he want to know? He's going to ask you. Look at him. What? He wants to ask you a question. He's over here. Hi, here. OK. Um, I've seen the movie many times. Mm -hmm, so have we. And I just yeah. want to see if you guys agree. I'll tell him what kind of cur I want red curtains. I'm going to, when, uh, they, they, oh, okay. when they get ready with the curtains, because right. I've got a red curtain in the bedroom. Eventually, I learned that the Munchkins worked on the movie for eight weeks. And if they look really happy here, remember, they're acting. Well, let's face it, the hours were ridiculous yeah, from six in the morning till about. 7.30 in the evening, that's bad. And then the makeup, that was a pain in the neck. Most of the little people made $50 a week. Toto made $125. Oh, I'm so glad. A grudge that some munchkins still carry against the dog to this day. They slept three to a bed at the Culver Hotel in Culver City. In the 60 years since, reporters have been circulating all kinds of stories about what really went on here. Stories about wild parties and drunken little people swinging from chandeliers and engaged in all kinds of conduct, very much unbecoming of a munchkin. And I figured this could very well be their last opportunity to set the record straight. And apparently they agreed. Because I didn't even finish the question. Now, I've heard stories. Don't you believe it. Really? That's one thing I hate, that them, them that stupid stories. True. You mind if I say something? If I was six foot tall, I'd, I'd go to every one of those guys that wrote those stupid things. You know, it was awful. I'd have grabbed them up against the wall and said, you know what you did? Bang, I'd knock that. But overall, they say the pleasant memories vastly outweigh the unpleasant ones. We wish to welcome you to much can And they are thrilled that people are still fans after all these years. Get any mail? Do you get any mail? Mail? I get so much mail, I don't know what to do with it. Every day, three or four letters, and every letter is the same story. They want to tell you how great the Wizard of Oz, how wonderful it was, and they never change. They, they, they always write it in there, and then the last thing they say, would you please uh, autograph this picture? After Oz, Harry went on to be a stunt double for children and quite a weightlifter, too. Jerry had an amazing career. He was Buster Brown, Oscar the Chef, even an ape in Planet of the Apes. Not that anyone cares to hear about any of that. I can mention anything, but when I say I'm in The Wizard of Oz, they say, you were in The Wizard of Oz? And even though the movie is now retiring from network television, safe to say most of us will never forget them, no matter how much they forget. We're off to see, see the, the wizard, wizard, the, the wonderful wizard, wizard of Oz. If yeah, ever yeah, 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 a wizard, a wizard, if ever a wizard there was. You guys don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Toto does. You're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz.
Again, at 92 years old, Harry Monty, the gentleman who was somewhat hard of hearing, is the oldest living munchkin. And you just saw his very first TV interview. Mike. <laughs>